This is a 2007 Ford Focus, and a lot of times I get questions about where things are exactly in the engine compartment. So I decided to do a video just going over the general locations of different components in the engine compartment. So this is what the engine compartment looks like close up, and we're just going to work right to left on what the different components are and what they do. So starting at the very top, we have the fuse box, and this is just where all the different fuse relays are that control different uh, mechanical and electric components in the car. You can find a great schematic in your Ford Focus manual that tells you exactly what the different parts are. I'll go ahead and open it up and you can see the different uh, fuses and relays. If you saw my earlier Ford, uh, the fuel filter video, um, basically there's one of these relays that uh, controls the fuel pump and you want to take it out when you do those repairs. Just to the left of the fuse box is the brake fluid re reservoir. Um, oftentimes you'll hear people tell you that you're low on brake fluid. This is where you're going to look to see if indeed you are low. Uh, the Ford Focus takes DOT 3 brake fluid like many regular light duty vehicles and so uh, there's just a simple reading on the side to tell you how much brake fluid you have. Now just below the fuse box and the reservoir is your battery. The Ford Focus battery compartment, it has a special clip here that will make sure that the battery stays in place. Um, how you undo it is just you undo this screw right here. That'll flip down and then the compartment will flip up, which will give you access to the entire battery. One thing, I don't know if uh, other Ford Focus owners out there have, one thing, we have two Focuses in our family, and this thing right here, this is, cov this is covering the positive terminal of the battery, which is uh, the more dangerous of the two terminals. This um, piece of plastic right here can sometimes jiggle when the engine idles, which can be a little bit annoying. If anyone has any tips on how to secure that properly, I'd be more than happy to uh, hear it. Moving down from the battery, we have the air intake. This is uh, where the air filter is located. It uh, starts all the way down deep in there and then works its way up. On the Ford Focus, you have a lifetime air filter. So for the most part, it's never going to require service. And um, yeah, that's where it's located. So we'll lead from the air filter to the intake of the engine. Um, you'll see one, two, three, four for our inline four-cylinder engine. Um, so the air is going to flow this way into the engine. As it flows that way, you can look down and see um, these blue fuel injectors. And so the fuel is in being injected with the air as it passes into the engine. Um, obviously you have all the action happening inside the engine that causes the combustion. And then it'll flow out the exhaust manifold, which is covered by this heat shield as it gets really, really hot as it passes by. Um, some other things to point out, this is a dual overhead cam engine, which you can tell because you have these kind of two, uh, two raised portions of the engine, one here and one here. If you were to take off the valve, uh, the top valve casing, you'd be able to see the um, camshafts. One thing you can do actually is take off the uh, oil cap, and if you look down in there, it's not going to... If you look down in there, you can see some of the cam, that's a cam lobe you're seeing right there. So that's one of the camshafts. Also, if you look on top, let's refocus here. If you look on top, these are where the spark plugs are located. So if ever you have to do service on your spark plugs, it's really easy to do. You just take off the screw and then uh, this entire assembly just comes right off. Now located right alongside on the uh, engine, we have the power steering reservoir. Um, power steering reservoir It's kind of straightforward on how it's measured. Let's get a focus there. You can see the maximum level right there. Um, one thing you want to be sure to do if ever you need to add power steering fluid to your Ford Focus, be sure it is a Mercon 5 liquid. Um, you don't want to go grabbing for the power steering fluid uh, just off the shelf that says power steering. That's not going to be working with this uh, application and you might actually end up damaging um, your power steering and it basically without any power steering it's going to be really really tough to turn the wheel. I'm speaking from experience I owned a previous Ford uh, Taurus put in the wrong power steering fluid and two weeks later the power steering died so you want to be sure you're using Mercon fluids on it 
um, spe specifically Mercon 5, which is also what you need for the transmission fluid on this vehicle. It's also worth pointing out, uh, you have your oil dipstick right here. It's nice yellow, that way you can see it. Also, one dipstick that's kind of hidden is, um, so this is just to the right of the engine compartment. This is your transmission dipstick, transmission fluid dipstick. That's what you can use to check your transmission fluid. Now it's worth pointing out with oil, you wanna check that while it's cold. However, you wanna check transmission fluid once it's warmed up in a Ford Focus. So that means you wanna drive it around, get the engine up to temperature, and then you can pull over and check your transmission fluid level. With power steering, um, it's also worth pointing out to check the power steering fluid. You wanna check that when, uh, when it's warmed up and also you wanna turn the wheel all the way to the right or to the left and then you want to check the level to make sure that it's at the right size. Now something we can kind of see here, let's see if we can get the brightness up here. This is your, uh, let's see here, trying to get it focused here. This is uh, where the belt is that helps run all the different components of the engine. Um, you have different turn wheels, um, tensioner as well. Uh, so this is what's controlling your oil pump, uh, transferring different energies around the uh, engine, making sure everything's able to move. Gratefully, with the Focus, you have relative clearance to be able to do a service on it. A lot of times, the belt can be hidden away underneath air intakes, or um, just the sheer size of the engine puts the belts all the way to the side of the engine compartment. And finally, up top, we have this nice big reservoir. This is your coolant reservoir. Uh, pretty important to check because you want to be sure that your engine's able to receive the proper amount of cooling. How you check it is you have a cold fill range right there. So you want to check this while your engine is cold and just want to be sure it's in between the two lines. Um, also, it's worth pointing out uh, that you never want to open this while the uh, coolant is hot because in that case, you're going to have a really hot liquid and it might be spurting up at you. Definitely not a good thing to have. Also up top, we have the, uh, this is the windshield fluid reservoir where you top up for that. So that in general is the main components of the engine compartment. If you guys have anything that you'd like me to try to look at in specific detail, be sure to comment and let me know. All right. Thanks for watching guys.